many moons ago. A woman in our family had to deal with four witches. He's doing better every day for sure, which is a blessing, but it's gonna be a long, he has to walk that road. We all know about the Kardashian curse and we must have heard of it. Or do you know what the Kardashian curse really is? According to the Astro World, if anyone romantically dates any of the family members of the Kardashian family, then they would face difficulties in their life, and it is said that it would negatively affect their career. Let's dig deeper about it. Scott Disick chose to examine the concept of a Kardashian curse by visiting with a psychic in a 2016 episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. So to answer your question, I would probably say you do have a curse. The psyche confirmed that Disc is surrounded by negative energy and is probably cursed. She proposed that the only way to escape the curse would be to liberate a rooster and so free his worries, while dressed entirely in white. While you may argue that this was a gimmick to make the show more exciting, which it was, it wasn't the last time the Kardashians discussed the curse. Kim, Chloe and Disick watched a TikTok detailing the myth of the witch ancestor who sold her soul to ensure that her female bloodline will always be famous on a recent episode of the Kardashians. They point out that the argument is not only nonsensical but also sexist as the issues, whether drug addiction or adultery, are put on women rather than the men who make those decisions. They point out that some of the guys such as Disick and Odom have defended them by claiming that they were the ones who messed up, but it doesn't change the fact that many of their exes have had difficult experiences after they split up. While one could argue that dating a Kardashian could harm one's career, the thought of a group of women cursing every male they date is absurd. Some ex-spouses have gone on to have more successful jobs after their divorce, while others never fully recovered. The others are somewhere in the middle, but the fact is that the Kardashian and Jenner ladies aren't to blame for their ex's trouble. Whether it's mental illness, drug misuse or gender identity, these issues existed long before the Kardashian and Jenner sisters. Kendall mentioned that they believed they were all very generous, compassionate and affectionate women. She added that when there was a man in their lives, they devoted their all to them, and as a family they held a deep affection for for them. Kylie had a unique take on the curse stating her conviction in its veracity. During the related episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians in which Disick spoke with the psychic, Kylie stated that the Kardashian curse affects any male who falls in love with a Kardashian. She stated that their lives tend to suffer as a result of their engagement. Kylie also believes that the majority of people who engage with the Kardashian-Jenner family, including both men and women, as well as lovers and companions, face difficulties in adjusting to the public scrutiny associated with their relationship with the family. She told GQ that individuals around them aren't used to the media's attention. She went on to say that they frequently respond by thinking, oh, that will be gone in a day. She recognizes that these tales will eventually be meaningless and recommends against allowing them to affect one's emotions. Kylie added that it wasn't just males that showed there, but also friends and family members who were unsure how to handle the situation. She stated that there was a lot of hostility with both supporters and a considerable number of people who had negative feelings about them. Kylie is correct in stating that being linked with a Kardashian or Jenner is not for the faint of heart, owing to the amount of public attention they all receive. Some may believe they can manage it only to crumble under the pressure. This is true for everyone who is in the public glare, but it is amplified when six women from the same family are in the limelight. Khloe Kardashian and Lamar Odom married in September 2009 after a whirlwind romance they met the month before and looked to enjoy a solid marriage for several years before adultery suspicions surfaced in 2013. The suspicions were confirmed and reinforced by Odom's drug misuse troubles, prompting Khloe to file for divorce in September 2013. When Odom overdosed on cocaine in a Nevada brothel in 2015, things seemed to turn around when Khloe went to his side to comfort him. Despite his near-death experience, they divorced in 2016. Many people believe that Odom is cursed since his NBA career dropped and his drug difficulties intensified throughout their relationship. Odom has publicly acknowledged his love for Chloe after their divorce. Khloe Kardashian began dating rapper French Montana in 2014, shortly after filing for divorce from Lamar Odom. After dating for less than a year, the pair decided to remain friends. In 2022, he created a song in which he refers to the Kardashians and claims that he and Kanye West killed the curse. 
But Chloe wasn't having it. In a serious moment, she confronted the argument, emphasizing the injustice of blaming the women in the family while absolving the males of any responsibility. She questioned why society constantly holds women accountable, pointing out the sexist aspect of the story. Chloe cynically remarked about her past relationships with Lamar Odom and Tristan Thomas, suggesting that according to the theory, she must have caused someone to become a drug addict and someone else to cheat. Disick, who has had his own share of mistakes in the past, including his tumultuous relationship with Kourtney Kardashian, agreed and attributed the blame to the boys. Kim indicated a wish for the guys they had dated to advocate for them. Scott quickly accepted his mistakes, firmly declaring, without hesitation, I admit my wrongdoing. Chloe and Kim expressed their appreciation to Lamar Odom for his ongoing efforts to protect the family. The topic then went to Chloe's ex-boyfriend, Tristan Thompson, who was said to be buying a property in Hidden Hills. Despite their physical proximity, Chloe stated unequivocally that reconciliation was not an option. She firmly stated that there were no chances for Thompson and that she was completely fine with him. She mentioned that she didn't have any issues and explained that she simply didn't have the energy. Chloe confessed in a confessional that while she had forgiven Thompson for his previous infidelity, she had not forgotten what he did. She emphasized that she needed to forgive herself in order to go on with her life. Chloe called the argument super sexist and brought up the issue of cultural double standards, emphasizing that women are frequently blamed for their spouse's conduct and troubles, but men are not held to the same standard. She inquired whether the media was informing her that she had made someone a drug addict and a cheat. Kim also weighed in, stating her wish for the guys they've dated to defend them. Kim also recognized the curse rumors influence on her ex-husband Kanye West, 46, citing his mental health difficulties as instances. Kanye's tumultuous path includes a public mental breakdown, hospitalization, and the announcement of his bipolar disorder diagnosis. Following contentious statements made on social media last year, he received tremendous backlash and saw his net worth plummet. The Kardashian curse notion has also been linked to other familial ties. Chris Humphreys, 38, who was married to Kim Kardashian for only 72 days, found his basketball career overshadowed. I think you learn something from every experience. I'm not really in the media you know, reading, you know, Googling my name and seeing what people are saying, you know, you can't live life like by the brief marriage and subsequent appearances on the reality show. Similarly, Reggie Bush, 38, who dated Kim for three years, saw his athletic career suffer after their separation. He retired immediately after being dubbed the biggest overhyped flop in NFL history. The same can be said about Khloe Kardashian, including her marriage to Lamar Odom and her turbulent relationship with basketball player Tristan Thompson, who went from being a starting guy on a championship team to bouncing around the league with other clubs, as many have pointed out. Even Scott Disick, who has been dating Kourtney Kardashian 44 for around nine years, has had his ups and downs. Scott Disick, who has three children with Kourtney Kardashian, has struggled with addiction and has sought treatment at a number of rehab centers over the years. He returned to treatment in 2020, this time to address old traumas. Unfortunately, he departed after only a few days owing to a breach of privacy when a facility employee revealed his personal information. While Courtney has moved on in her love life and found happiness with singer Travis Barker, with whom she is presently pregnant, Scott has had a string of short-lived romances. So this is the reality about the Kardashian curse. If you enjoyed watching our content, do like, share and subscribe to our channel and do not forget to comment your thoughts below.